let's see. All right, so now what's the what's the last thing that you've enjoyed in life? Let's let's go there. Um, that's kind of a hard question to answer. Even minimally enjoyment, like like friends or something like that. Um, I got a real kick out of making my boss uncomfortable by the fact that I'm still working there. Explain. <laughs> um, so. There's a sick yet, it, there's a sick enjoyment to be had when somebody thinks that you're going to quit, um, whatever you're going to quit, and then you stick it to them by staying around, and it kind of makes people uncomfortable when they may, they try to make you uncomfortable and you don't react the way they think they're going to react. Uh-huh. And there's a weird enjoyment to be had from that, um, because... In some ways, it, it just goes to show that that person didn't know you that well, and it's like, well, you know, for whatever reason, why did you think I would react that way? You should have known me better by now. Well, so. apparently not. Yeah. So, so what was their actual reaction? Basically, the first week was to ignore me. Mm -hmm. Because maybe they thought that I, if they ignored me, I'd go away. And then there was like a return to normalcy, but then... This idea that maybe if we give her more work or like overload her, we'll just like cause her to lose her shit. And... They thought you were gonna like snap and like fall into crumble into pieces or something exactly. like that. Exactly, um, which didn't happen at all. Um, and then there's also this kind of hypocritical nature of like, well, if I if I just maybe she'll just go away, <laughs> and so there. It's interesting to see how people react when you don't react the way they expected. So, and there's kind of a weird enjoyment to be had from that. Hmm. So, um, another thing I enjoyed recently is really good barbecue. From where? Um, this place called HBG Gourmet. They're based in Brooklyn. They had a really good garlic mac and cheese and kale Caesar salad and, uh, Really solid brisket, smoked brisket um, with a apple cider coleslaw with pickled onions and pickled zucchini. It was really good. Kind of made my Wednesday really put me in a cheery mood. Wait, Wednesday? When did you go? Oh, uh, we have this service at work called FUDA that brings food to the office so people don't have to go outside and freeze their buttons off. Uh -huh. um, so periodically they bring really good places like our Xedo and this barbecue place um and it's just it's it's up for two hours in our office places come restaurants come and give us food so it's a great way to like try different foods and a great way to just like avoid going outside huh if only we had that then we're rad yeah there's not a lot of great places to eat up at rock center so that's where the problem come come into mm. So they, they bring places like one of my favorite, Oxido, I discovered through Fuda. Um, it'd be interesting if they would bring a burger place, but feasibly it makes no sense. Wow, well, there are burger places around there? Well, just like the space at Simon & Schuster isn't, it's not that great. They literally have a counter, a sink, and ice. Yeah. So they have to bring their own heating stations. And so most of the places bring in pre-cooked meats. Gotcha. So a burger place wouldn't work. However, I did discover recently over at Lower Times Square is this place called The Counter with custom burgers. Yeah. Huh. It's got like different types of burgers, like bison, veggie, beef, turkey, chicken for burger. And then like you can customize with all these different types of cheeses, like your normal American cheese, cheddar, but then like herb goat cheese. What? Yeah. And then, like, all these different sauces, so, like, regular mustard, ketchup, mayonnaise, garlic aioli, horseradish aioli. What? Yeah. And they're where? They're on, uh, 41 and Broadway. On the lower end of the Times Square. 41 and Broadway, okay. Yeah, it looks legit. It smells delicious. I haven't gone in. It seems to be a sit-down, order-your-food fast food type setup. But. 41 in Broadway? All right, that's that's homework. <laughs> yeah. It, I really want to go. Um, I'm trying to convince one of my friends to go. I discovered a Japanese bookstore in the same area. Oh, I think I know that store. Yeah. Um, it's 
right across from Bryant Park. And I went in there the mm -hmm. other day. It was an interesting experience. I bought three books. Like, Wait, three books in Japanese? No, three books just in the from the Japanese store. Oh, okay. Um, one of them is Management 101. The other one is called Fuck Your Feelings. Okay. <laughs> and then the third one is a uh, YA novel that kind of feels reminiscent of The Handmaiden's Tale. But it was written originally, I think, in Norway? It's a translation book. Oh. So, um, yeah, I don't read Japanese. I can't go picking up Japanese books. But I found that I found that place and I stumbled on that and that was kind of fun. Cool. Um, what else have I done recently that I enjoyed? I binge watched the show The Magicians. You watched the whole thing? I watched the whole thing. How was it? Um, I think if you're a Harry Potter fan, like diehard Harry Potter fan, you'll mm -hmm. enjoy it. I think if you're not, it's just it, it's it's good. It's one of sci-fi's better shows they've ever put out. Okay. Especially in terms of production value. Mm -hmm. But it's not like it's no... It, it is what it is. Yeah. It's no Outlander. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Outlander. <laughs> I support the Outlander. Oh, man. Um, I'm telling you, we kind of watched that show. It's a really good adaption. Like, it's a great book-to-film adaption. It's great discussion points of, like, taking one story from one medium and translating it into another one, and then how that can necessarily deepen right. the story because of different aspects. Um... Also, you know, people get really upset about, like, the rape scene at the end, but it's a very good examination of, like, the horrors instead of, like, Games of Thrones, which it happens one week, maybe has a ramification the next week, and then it's gone yeah. forever. Uh, Outlander's rape scene ripples throughout the rest of the series. Yeah. So. Cool. Yeah. Um, let's see. What uh, have I done? Well, I was going to say that's all we need. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you can you can keep talking if you really want, but I'm I'm gonna stop the phone. <laughs>